if not more, I have solved at least 50,000 problems in my career and here's what I learned. In my 15 years of teaching career, I have solved at least 50,000 problems out of which at least 20,000 must be unique. I solved almost all major books. Vinay Kumar, SK Goel, Amit M. Agrawal, Vikas Gupta, Pankaj Joshi, you name it, I have solved it. And not to miss many coaching materials as well. Well, aaj ki date mein, if someone throws a JEE advanced question at me, I can assure it will be done. But during this process, I also realized that you actually don't need to solve these many problems to get great at maths. Or aaj is video mein, I'll be revealing my top three learnings. Well, I am Arvind Kalia, sir. Bache pyar se bhai bulate hain because that's the way I see you all. Chalo, let's start. One common mistake that many of you make is diving directly into question solving without gauging first your understanding of the chapter. This often leads to frustration or spending excessive time on handful of problems. Which brings me to the very first learning that is structure of solving. You may significantly reduce the time required for getting expert at the subject if you follow the solving structure properly. This structure consists of which questions to solve, how many questions to solve and how to solve. Instead of tackling a bunch of difficult questions head on, I suggest a progressive strategy. Start by solving 60 easy questions, followed by 30 average questions and then followed by finally 15 difficult questions at regular intervals. Trust me, your brain learns best when you progress gradually. Sorry tough cheezon ko aaj hi karne ke chakkar mein you end up putting in a lot of time aur maze ki baat to ye hai ki wo kuch samay ke baad yaad bhi nahi rehti. Keep in mind you need to align your progress with the day of exam and not today or tomorrow. Remember it's not about the quantity of questions you solve but the quality of your progress. Trust the process and you'll be amazed to see the results. Say you have to solve level 1, level 2 and level 3 questions of a chapter. As an average student, your maximum time has to go on the level 1. Solve that many questions that make you feel that you can solve now almost all the easy questions effortlessly. After that only you jump to level 2 and do same. Believe me, if you have step 1 ko se kiya hai, then in level 2 you will rarely get doubts. Rather, you will level 2 questions karne mein maza aana shuru ho But for level 3, the process goes on in regular intervals in the form of revision till your exam day. Moment you realize ki koi question nahi ban pa raha, don't get confused or disheartened. Straight away jump to the approach idea. Identify, develop, execute, assess. First of all, identify and write down. Let me repeat, write down two things. What all is given and what is asked in the question. Now try to develop a relation between these two things. Try to recall aapne in do cheezon ke baare mein kya kya pada hua hai. Moment you get anything in your mind, simply anything, well, you may refer to notes also at this moment. Just execute it and see if you get one step closer to your answer. But if you don't get in forward direction, then now read the solution and try to assess what exactly was missing in your thought process. Was it some formula or calculation inefficiency or manipulation or altogether a different approach? Obviously, if it's the last one, then it's not about the question, rather this method which you need to learn, which brings me to the next learning. Focus on method and not question. <laughs> Many students are not able to learn better because they do one very typical mistake. They give a way more importance to a question. You need to focus more on method instead of question. Well, let me tell you, method is nothing but just a standard approach to solve a variety of questions. These methods are generally highlighted by the teachers when they teach you some topic or you yourself get these methods by repeated solving of some typical variety of questions. Make sure you are maintaining all these approaches in your notes itself or some separate short notes. See, if you don't even have the strong building blocks, how you can think of building anything out of it. Once you are great at methods, you will get great at calculations and manipulations. Once you get great at methods and manipulations, you will get great at developing solutions of the tough problem. And to know if you can develop the solution of a tougher problem in the given frame of time, you need to check yourself at the regular intervals. Which brings me to third learning, my personal favorite, testing yourself. 
टूडे लेट मी एडमिट मोस्ट ऑफ माई लर्निंग है स्टूडेंट्स आई यूज टू गेट लिटल इंटीमीडिएटेड इन द बिगिनिंग वेन द स्टूडेंट्स यूज टू आस्क डाउट फ्रॉम मी सो आई डिसाइडेड टू एनकाउंटर दिस सिचुएशन एज मेनी टाइम एज पॉसिबल एंड विद टाइम आई रियलाइज माई ब्रेन स्टार्ट गेटिंग इन टू टर्बो मोड एज सुन एज any questions comes in front of me of course it was backed by my regular preparation to stay ready for any question that comes to me idea is to achieve the situation where you get comfortable with taking mock tests you aim at keeping yourself ready for the mock test at any moment for all the things you have covered so far in your course and all the questions which you could not do in the mock test become your best resource for your next level of solving where you again use the idea approach to take maximum out of that so champions as you embark on your mathematical journey remember these three key points at any moment focus on structure of solving prioritize methods over the individual questions and embrace the power of testing yourself and learning from the doubts god bless you take care surat se mukhatib main wo sham dhoond raha hu manzar meri nazar mein ye sab